Okay, uh, good day ladies and gentlemen. So, in this short video, we're going to talk about three principles of laying out our design. We're going to talk about composition, hierarchy, and proximity in white space. So, when we do our layout, the way that we're going to be judging our layout is whether or not you uh, can demonstrate that you've used these three rules, and when you do your report, that you can justify points along the lines of I've done the composition, I've done the hierarchy, and I've this is my white space. Okay, so this is why it's important for you to understand these principles. Okay, so the first principle I want to talk about is called composition. And this is really referring to where each of the key components is are going to be placed on the main design. Okay, so you know, we talked last week about having mastheads and cover lines and kickers, etc. Composition describes the principles that we should follow when we're just thinking about placing those pieces. So the first thing we think about with composition is something called the rule of threes. And the rule of threes says that our brains are automatically hardwired to have uh, to appreciate the beauty of dividing something into three. So what we can do then is to put our guidelines by taking our image, so this is going to be a magazine design, and dividing it by three along the top, and then by three along the bottom, and then having this as a grid. Uh, we can position our components somewhere within each of these grids, and then that will just give it a nice professional feel. Okay, I'll show you some examples of this in a second. Um, so that's the first rule, the rule of threes, where we want to take our grid, divide it into three, and place our components inside of these uh, inside of this grid. The second rule I want us to think about when we talk about composition is the fold line. So you have to think that if you walk into a shop, there is going to be uh, hundreds of magazines all along the wall. And these magazines are either going to be folded or they're either going to be on display overlapping each other and they will either be on display overlapping each other horizontally or vertically. Okay. Now, if they are displaying horizontally, um, let me just put the guides on. So what that means is that if they are being displayed horizontally, then the next magazine will come down like this and cover two thirds of our magazine there. If it's being displayed vertically, then the next magazine could cover the bottom two thirds of our magazine. So what that means is that when we're designing our magazine, we need to think about putting the most important section, the most important information should go in this square here, because this square won't be covered whether the magazine is horizontally or vertically stacked. Okay, so the most memorable parts of your magazine need to go in the top left hand corner. So if you have a, a masthead that you want people to recognize all the time, at least a, a good portion of that masthead must be recognizable from the top left hand corner. Okay, uh, then less important, but still to be aware of are these two squares here which I will now fill them in as a kind of a yellowy color. And we'll make this one to be red. Okay, so the red one is the most important one. These, this yellow one here, and these two squares here are equally important because these are the squares that could be visible whether the magazine is stacked horizontally and vertically and then the remaining four squares, they're kind of less important because they're going to be covered one way or the other. There's a fair chance they're going to be covered. So you don't put your most important information in those four squares. OK, the most important information should go here with secondary information going here and here. OK, good. So that's composition, which is the overall placement of our key components. And we talked about the rule of threes and we talked about having the fold line, being aware of the fold line. 
So the next thing I want to talk about, the next principle we're going to talk about is hierarchy. And hierarchy says that whenever we do our design, we should have the most important thing to be big and eye-catching, the next important thing to be medium, and the third and last important thing should be small. If we think about having a cover line, then when we have a cover line, the line that's designed to grab our attention should be quite large. And then the little bit of additional information can be smaller. And then finally, the page number that this article is going to be on can be the smallest still. Okay, but this hierarchy of big, medium, small gives you a nice overall impression and it also allows your eyes to focus on the most important information. Okay, and you'll also notice that I put this cover line in one of the two secondary boxes so that there's a fair chance that this information will be seen by uh, the person picking up this, the magazine. Okay, so hierarchy is all about having big things, middle, medium things, and small things put together. Okay? Right, the third principle I want us to think about is proximity and white space. So proximity and white space means things that are related go together, are physically placed next to each other, and then things that are not related should have a gap between them. Things that are related to each other should be placed close together. And that gives us a visual clue that these three lines are related. Uh, then if we have a second uh, cover line, so if I, if I were to place a second cover line maybe here, you can see that the white space, well, the white space means that the, the gap between these two components you can see that this cover line is not related to this cover line because we're not equally spacing out items in between. Okay, so we have composition, which is the overall placement of items. Then we have hierarchy, big items, medium items, and small items. And then finally, we have proximity and white space, which is where we group similar items together. Okay, so now that we've got our three principles, I just wanted to show you an example magazine. So here we've got the front cover of Vogue with uh, Margot Robbie. Um, but straight away, look at the placement. You can see where I put the grid, dividing Vogue up three by three. Okay. And you can see straight away, the Vogue has this, first of all, in the top left hand corner, the V and most of the O, so that is always going to be recognizable. So if you're looking for the magazine or you recognize the magazine, that's enough of a clue for you to see it. Then you'll see that Margot Robbie is the key celebrity for this cover. And again, the most important thing, piece of information on this cover is in the top left hand corner that's never going to be covered by other magazines when it's stacked on the shelf. So there we can see a good example of composition and also look at how these cover lines are placed. So we've got this left hand division with cover lines, nothing in the center, and then the right hand division of cover lines as well. And also each of these cover lines is placed roughly in the middle of each of the three. It's all aligned with our grid of nine. Okay. And then we can also see an example here of hierarchy because the most important thing is the title, Vogue. And then we've got 43 looks, which is the big, and then the middle to dress up your life, okay? Or we could say that the Vogue is the big, 43 is the middle, and then the dress up your life bit is the smallest part of it all. Vogue is the big, Margot Robbie is the middle, and then the description of Margot Robbie is the smallest part. We can see proximity and white space here because 43 looks to dress up your life is related and they're close together. Then we've got some white space and then the next cover line, which is all closely placed together. Jill Biden and on the race of a lifetime, close together. So a little bit of white space and then another uh, grouping here. 
Okay, so those are the three principles that I want us to think about when you are laying out your magazine cover. Don't just put things willy-nilly all over the place. Think about the composition, think about the hierarchy, and think about proximity and white space. Okay, so with all that in mind, I look forward to see what you produce. Take care.